now let's talk about something interesting you know if you think about it the presentation was a bit short and i think it's because i left out the biggest biggest fun thing would be funding you know there was a lot of articles on rivian cards when i looked up saying hey who you know like who owns rivian <laughs> like you know we already talked about amazon who's in this and then there's also like ford and blah 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 so let's look into the funding first thing 2011 their first funding came as form d this is their form d we learned about it the sec check out my video if you haven't know about these forms but they are saying that they filed a debt and warrant of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. that's a lot and then 2012 they also got another debt and warrant saying hey i spent one million more dollars and then here they also say one of the saudi arabian investors but we they call them alj said they were actually one of rivian early investors so they got audi some like saudi arabian investor firms part of this you know project moving on in 2017 is they got a different grant so they received a one million dollar grant they're meeting the certain employment targets so they are getting more money so they got one million and five year tax abatements and then as you guys know the illinois state governments because you guys know 2017 was when they moved their factory their facility to illinois they got 49.5 million dollars in tax credit which allowed companies and lawyers to receive employment state income tax revenue that's great and also sumitomo corporation made large strategic investment as well there is more investors joining and what is this currently up to like couple like 50 60 million dollars i was about to say 2018 they were able to get funded by london standard chartered bank which is interesting so not only just in america but somewhere in and then comes the big day of 2019 as you guys know the big opas amazon invested with 700 million dollars you know we were talking about just like 40 million that's not that much compared to how much the big companies are spending but amazon with 700 million ford with 500 million and then some automotive company with 350 million dollars that's a lot of money so i kind of see why by the time that they were doing their ipo people wanted to be part of this company and that they wanted to buy stock also 2021 2.65 billion dollars by investors and i am not gonna name all these names so many people there's like soros fund management fidelity management some management some funding management the alj saudi arabia amazon invest a little bit more there's like new investors like d1 capitals like and then the alj added another 11.5 billion fortune like so much money with 114 million shares in rivian the next round they were able to again raise 2.5 billion dollars you know like you know it's going out there it's going crazy because by this time it was going crazy about electric vehicles and amazon with their so they're a dick by paying 200 million dollars worth of stock too and finally their ipo price 78 dollars and what did we say how much they earned what you know 12 billion dollars so i lost count of how much they earned but at this rate with all these like companies joining in like all these investors you end up wondering like how much percent left do you have this was actually an article it's like who owns rivian you know amazon purchased so much this saudi opas alj bought like a couple hundred millions and then you know with ford with 500 million this automotive company 300 million who's the owner and people actually say hey don't worry rj is good he's good guys don't worry like rivian holders there's actually two classes of stock for rivian which i didn't know about and they say that you know 1.7 percent of class a shares is worth class b shares which has 10 times the amount of voting control as class a shares and they are saying that rj owns the class b shares so he has 100 percent. he was just spreading out the class a shares so i think they are good on who has power over rivian 
And so that being said, Rivian, the founder, is worth 2.2 billion after his company's two-day IPO pop. So guys, don't worry if you guys wanted to invest in Rivian. It's you know like the control is still on R RJ's hand, and he is very rich. Now, to end, some things to look out for in 2022 would be. I found this interesting, but. Rivian R1T electric truck was spotted in South Korea. A uh, little bit background story about Korean EV trucks is that they don't do a good job. <laughs> trucks business like Ford, it's doing a very hard job because in Korea people don't drive trucks or SUVs that much. Like if you have like children's, obviously yeah. But but they were saying they did spot the car out near the Suwon area. You know they're not sure what they wanted to do in South Korea but it's out there the truck was spotted near the SDI at the LG Chem R&D Center you know it was still like 20 minutes away but they think that maybe maybe Korea is going to be you know doing something with it because they weren't listed as one of the countries to sell out the EV trucks Train. but maybe cool. some type of battery suppliers would be in Korea would be helping out with Rivian so that's something to look out for especially if you live in Korea also you guys know this film actually Rivian did a bit a small film called electric filming pickup truck long way up where they were driving 13 thousand miles of terrains ele elevation and weather and they were testing out the Rivian car you guys can still watch this if you guys have Apple TV but with this maybe they'll do another round another series of like small videos of driving their maybe this time their SUVs because they drove mostly their truck so that would be something interesting to look into and finally like I said this isn't a car company, but more for environmental and sustainability. So do we get to see EV charging? That would be something interesting to look into. They were hoping to build public charging stations across US and Canada by 2023. And they, they were trying to offer fast charging and home charging devices to people and that they are planning to have 10,000 destination chargers called Rivian Waypoint around places, dining areas, retails, and you know, hotels, all those places. And hopefully that a lot of places where they do need it, like the Colorado State Park or any like areas, state parks, will have electric vehicle charger. And finally, something that you should be looking out for if you are the investor is are they going to are they going to increase their production rate are they going to hire people who knows how to increase the production rate because it is way too slow like although they're hiring more you know they're planning to hire more in 2022 but can they you know get 70,000 cars that have been pre-ordered can they get it out there by 2022 or do those people I'm guessing those are investors have to wait another year to get their car. So those are things to look out for for Rivian in maybe 2022 to 2023. But other than that, that's all for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. But that's all. Thanks, guys.